what I would say about this painting is that um, sometimes women were invited to the mortuary to look at clothing because by by 1998, the, the, the women, some of the women were desperate uh, to find out if their men were dead. And so we would invite them into the, the mortuary um, where we would lay clothing out that we'd removed from the victims' bodies. And these were these were very emotional times because the women came to the mortuaries hoping that they wouldn't be able to identify clothing in the hope that their men would still be alive. But um, sadly, when they were invited, um, all of them uh, would enter the room. It's, uh, the, the clothing could be laid on tables or on the floor. And uh, when they recognized a, an article of clothing, um, they obviously became extremely emotional. Uh, and I remember the first time that that happened in in Bosnia, in, Kos in um, the mortuary in Visoko, uh, when a woman identified some articles of clothing, she immediately said the name of her son. And that came as a shock to me in a way. I, I don't know why it came as a shock, but to hear the, the victim's name instead of um, the way we described the, 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 the victim's were with by, by grave numbers and so it was the first time that I had heard the name of a victim and that meant so much to me because it put a, a, a character on the, the victim but of course the, the woman, the mother was was um, she couldn't be consoled and she was she was escorted out of the mortuary but at least she felt she knew that her son, uh, was probably dead, but of course that then uh, would mean more pressure on the team to try and identify the the victim's body so that the the family could take them away and bury them in a respectful way. Uh, so there were very emotional days for the the team as well as obviously for the the families and the, these these days happened um, occurred both in Bosnia and in Kosovo, where I, I talked about another one of the paintings earlier. Yeah.